Measuring Ecosystem Services What are ecosystem services? They are the collection of benefits a society enjoys from a range of resources and processes supplied by nature. This can include products like clean drinking water or processes such as the creation of alternative energy from biomass. Ecosystem services can be separated into three categories. Provisioning services, like food, fiber, or alternative fuels. Regulating services, like water, air, or pollution regulation. And cultural services, like recreation, aesthetic values, or just leaving stuff behind for future generations. So what does this all mean? Well, there's a challenge in meeting society's wants and demands. Basically, a lot of people need a lot of stuff and what the land can provide is limited. So, if all of these people want all of these things, how do we know if we have enough? Where does it all come from? And how much of it is out there? Fortunately, there are talented people thinking about these challenges. The land can provide a whole bunch of products and services. With the right information, we can make decisions, like should an area be used for food or biofuel? Or should it be developed for housing or reserved for parkland? For example, let's talk about biomass for energy and other bioproducts. Biomass is the mass of living biological organisms in an ecosystem. This can include trees, crops, vegetation, or any other renewable carbon-based organism. Biomass can give us bioenergy, biomedicines, bioproducts, and more. Biomass can be used as a credible alternative to fossil fuel-based products. So how do we make informed decisions about biomass solutions? First, we need the data about biomass. But that's where we hit our first roadblock. What's the problem? Well, there is some data, but it's not connected, or complete, or up to date. It might not be standardized, or could be at different resolutions. To overcome this, we need to develop a biomass inventory system. And thanks to Alberta Innovate's Biosolutions, the work has already begun with the help of the Silvacom Group and Green Analytics. Once all of the data gets assembled into a cohesive framework, it's extrapolated to the province, which is when we map the data. This data can then give us a prospectus or detailed list of what biomass is available and where it is. This helps foster business growth and smarter decisions on how we use the land. In the future, this would be facilitated by serving data through an easy-to-use website, providing figures, maps, and other information to biomass buyers and sellers. So where do we go from here? Under the Alberta Innovates Biosolutions project, the Silvacom Group and Green Analytics have proven the idea with available data and identified gaps that need to be addressed. So now we need to create investment grade data, a better data delivery system, and provide the business case data needed to launch the bioeconomy. And after that, we can focus on the rest of the ecosystem services. Getting the data right leads to making the right decisions. And when we do that, society will benefit from the wide range of resources and processes that encompass ecosystem services.